My name is Sauna Bucket. My only purpose in life is to sit in saunas and make really fat people sweaty. I used to work in the Lower Peninsula where there were almost no saunas and I didn't get paid. Sucked ass. Times were tough, so I decided to move to the Upper Peninsula where there were a lot more opportunities. Not to mention, there were way more lady buckets. It didn't take long for me to meet my wife, Mrs. Bucket. Anyways, jobs were good, tips were amazing, and I quickly became the best sauna bucket in all the land. Whoa, 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 whoa. We don't need your life story here. Just tell us about that night. That's all we want to know about. Okay, okay. I was working the late shift one night on the sketchy side of town. There were these two guys. One looked rough, like he'd been around the block a few times, if you know what I mean. The other, smoky eyes. But wait, how did they not recognize you? He's right. You're pretty well known around here, Mr. Bucket. Well, you know, I close my eyes and slip away, like a drop of water in an endless sea. Anyways, the smoky eyed guy started talking about a secret gold mine up in the Keweenaw. The other guy didn't like that too much, and I started to argue. Anyways, I had drowned smoky eyes in my bucket. It was traumatized. Alright, thank you Mr. Bucket. I think that's everything we need from you today. Yeah, remember to keep your mouth shut. I mean, uh... Keep it confidential. You understand. I'm pregnant. Right. I need Mark now. Bastards. I had the worst day at work today, honey. What happened, my bronze fox? I witnessed a murder. Oh, sweet potatoes. Yeah, I know. It was all about some secret gold mine. Oh, dear. You sound like you need to fill your bucket with a beer or two. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I'm gonna go hit the KBC. You guys would not believe the day I had. Yeah, I've been there before, Sound Bucket. I've never seen it Sound Bucket, what's this? To Mrs. Bucket. Always remember me.
personal, and I know just who to talk to. I bet you're wondering why I brought you here today, Nick. I never wonder. Why would being half Sherlock Holmes, half unicorn, and half werewolf ever wonder where they are? Uh, good point. Well, I need a map to the secret gold mine hidden in the Keweenaw. Don't sass me, brass! Seriously, Cage, where's the map? Strapped with the propeller of Air Force One. Air Force One is a jet plane. Ha, <laughs> I know. Are you fucking serious, Cage? My wife was murdered by police and a guy named Mark. Now tell me where the map is. Oh, Mark totally sucks. He tried to steal the Constitution, but I got there first. All right, not many people know this, but there's a map on the back of the Declaration of Independence. Wait, sorry, that's the wrong movie. Not many people know this, but there's a map on the back of the Bill of Rights. She's all yours. Godspeed, son of a bucket. Godspeed. No!